I was like, you know what, I'm going to put a little bit more money into it, kind of put my little twist on it and hang on to it for a while because it just it hadn't gotten out there. So the people that, that did message me were like, I, I can't even believe I'm looking at this car right now. I've never even seen nothing like that. So uh, that kind of made me think, like, why, what am I doing? Like, I'm going to keep this car for a little bit. Let's, let's enjoy it. Let's have some fun with it. So. It's a 1976 Volkswagen Bug uh, with a 5.7 Hemi um, on a custom chassis. I've never seen another Volkswagen Bug with this custom chassis chopped how it is with a 5.7 front mounted engine. It's, it's, I've never seen one before and it, it was just so cool I had to own it. So this car was built in New Hampshire by Lucky Gunner Garage. Buddy of mine, Gus, I followed his, his garage. He built a lot of really cool cars. Um, I started following him when I noticed this build. So once it was finally done, I had a bunch of people on Facebook tag me and say, you know, you need to own this car. I reached out to him and eight months later, or a year later, came to a, a number and uh, I was lucky enough to buy it. I didn't go to New Hampshire and see the car first. Um, I just, I knew what the quality of builder that Gus was and I knew it was, it was a, a one-of-a-kind car, so I didn't even go there to look at it. When I got the car, it was satin black. It, it was a great satin black paint job. I, for one, just am not a, a satin black person. I live out in the country, and I drive my cars, you know. I happened to have an Audi come through the lot that day, and it was Nardo Gray, and I was like, that's the color. I think it'll help hide dust a little bit, so I don't have to wash it every single time I, I drive the car, and it's still a rat rod style, but kind of gives it that fresh clean look and um, he did I want to say three coats, coats of the clear coat on it and it just shines and the paint is so nice and um, I get tons of compliments on the new color I, I love it uh, the only thing I've thought about doing is maybe putting a little bit bigger tire on the back just to kind of give it that different stance but I don't really want to mess with what Gus built I mean he did such a good job I don't really see changing anything I did change the paint the, it's so low to the ground until you see the car in person uh, how small the car really is. It's, it's neat to park by something that, that you park by every day, um, whether it be a vehicle or a gas pump or you know anything, and realize just how tiny the car really is. Every single time I park the car, I look back and take a picture. It's I like to look back and see who else is looking at it and, and just see how it looks, you know, at different angles. Shout out obviously to Lucky Gunner Garage. Thank you so much for the opportunity to to let me own it. Um, uh, shout out to Big Nasty Motorsports who killed the paint job. Um, shout out to Delo uh, Motorsports in South County. He actually, uh, I've lost a few engine covers, uh, you know, going a little too fast. Uh, he made it to where this one uh, will not uh, fly off. So, Brian, thank you. Um, thanks to my, my wife for letting me uh, have fun with all these cars. And um, thanks to you guys, you know, for, for sharing it. and. Uh, you know, following my Instagram and Facebook and, and, and really getting helping me get it out there.